Steve Medic joins us here this morning, and thanks for being here this morning. We appreciate it. All my my pleasure. And 23 years, Steve, you've been doing the Charity Summit. And it's been 23 great years, and, and every year we seem to make more and more money, and last year, last night, we made a ton more money, which was great. That's fantastic. That, give us some highlights. I mean, I was there, and uh, you did a great job, and uh, it's not easy to quiet the crowd there. You know, you don't have to do that when you're doing the news on Channel 8. <laughs> uh, well, people are there for a good time. Yeah. And we have to realize that. Yeah. But we are also there to uh, raise some money. So we need, we need a good uh, middle area there. We had our cowbell. Yes, you did. And we got people to quiet down. And they were also very quiet for the very important parts. When, for the story, uh, we Andy talk story. about Andy Smith's story, a man, by the way, uh, telling the story about uh, breast cancer yeah. and how a man can go through it. Yeah. And once he does go through it, uh, goes through everything that, that a woman does. Yeah. And uh, it's something that people need to pay attention to. Yeah. Um, what do you say? 2,800 men in the United States a year get breast cancer, 550 of them will not survive. It was an amazing, uh, uh, sp the way he laid that out. Yes, yeah. and he was, he, it, it was a great story because he wasn't afraid to, uh, to make some fun, yep. make some fun of it. Um, you use so that word. It's, it's a great story, <laughs> yes. And uh, of course we had the many cancer survivors come up again with the candle ceremony. Uh, which is, it's some of the memorable parts. But mm. uh, the bottom line, we were there last night to raise money for uh, the Maine Cancer Foundation, the Martha B. Weber Breast Cancer Center, and the Patrick Dempsey Center. And we raised through the auction, through all the other activities that have gone on since basically back in December, uh, and counting, $350,000. And all, right. all of that money stays here in Maine uh, to help the ongoing efforts here in Maine. Nothing goes outside. And, uh, you know, despite the noise, and it's all right, people who wanted to bid, they were up there bidding. Uh, we had some fun. There were yeah. some great items. Uh, the parking space next to the Super Quad, uh, again, went for $10,000. <laughs> we had two cat rides. We were only going to give uh, one cat ride right. away. Right. And... Uh, uh, a group of women came up and said, we want one, so we'll pay you $10,000 if you give us another one. They were speaking so the language. <laughs> we, we gave away two cat rides, one for $10,000, one for a little bit more. Wow. Um, mountain bikes, uh, oh, well, there's so many things, 12 items. Uh, but in all, $350,000, the best item last night, and you saw it, um, and there was a great, great story connected to it that Steve uh, Keenan, our, um, our auctioneer, was able to tell because he did some research. But there, years ago, 35 years ago, was a flag that flew over bullwinkles. Right. It's a triangle. It's actually sitting right above us upstairs. It, is. Um, it was stolen. So we actually looked into the situation last night to make sure we weren't auctioning off stolen property <laughs> because there is no statute of limitations on this. So we called Ron Moody down, yeah. the former chief here, uh, and he says, well, got to be careful. There, you know, the rightful owner may want to, to, to get this because 35 years ago, somebody walked away with it, yeah. as people do uh, quite often here, truly, and there's a sign yeah. disappears here yeah, yeah. and stuff disappears there. But uh, apparently, Governor Mills gave us a uh, a pardon. If anybody she was there last night. Yes. Yeah, if yeah. anybody, um, the, the police, if you do happen to get arrested, she'll pardon you. Uh, <laughs> it, it is a great story of how this uh, flag disappeared for more than three decades. Finally, shows back up, and and the person says, well. I'm going to save it and have it auctioned off at the charity summit. And it went for, the bidding was great, finally going for $30,000. It's a huge amazing. flag. It's, it's huge, and right now it's under, it's framed. But then the person who won it donated it back to Bullwinkles. So either by the end of this year or certainly by next year, when you walk inside Bullwinkles, you'll see this long-lost flag, hopefully under 
serious lock and key, if not even with a, a guard posted next to it. Uh, too funny. <laughs> Boy, and it was great. When we mentioned the flag to Sandy, she goes, how come I don't have that here? I said, I don't know. I guess you'll have to bid on it. So looks like it's going to make its way home again. Yes, absolutely. It wasn't, so. I think it was just borrowed, maybe. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> you know, just, uh, who knows? And, and who knows where it's been, the, the, the secret. We don't know much of the story about where it's been over the last uh, 35 years, but it's back at its rightful That home, is just... But, you know, Great. it's uh, it, it once again, as we were talking with Kip uh, a couple of minutes ago while he was out there, you know, it's just the generosity of the Sugarloaf community. And this is what was so nice and what was so great about all the noise that was made last night. It was the first time since 2020 <laughs> exactly. that we were able to do it live. Yeah. And it was so nice to right. once again have so many people there. You know, the last two years... We still raised money. The, the community was still there, but we did it over Facebook. We did it virtually. And needless to say, that was challenging. Yeah, and now the energy of having everyone in that room, that's what the charity yeah. summit's about. And, yes. and what a wonderful event. And a lot of people. I don't know how many people, but... Just under 500. Yeah, that's... So we had, uh, we had a to capacity. really nice crowd. Yeah. 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 And, and you proof that you were there last night, you still got your name tag I on. still got my name there tag on. You know, it's like when when you wake up and you got a club stamp on your hand or <laughs> <Yeah>. something. <laughs> That's where I went last night. And uh, the food was wonderful last night. And you mentioned a lot of people didn't eat it, but uh, thanks to all the staff there. They did a great job. Oh, the, the Sugarloaf staff, uh, always great. Uh, we had great music by, uh, Dyer, and the by Dyer and the Daydreamers. Yeah. Uh, and she's been with us now 11 years. Yes, singing, she has. And uh, always adds a, a tremendous touch to, to the evening. And it's, it just takes, and, and, and the sponsors, we can't uh, say enough about the, the right. long, long list of sponsors that, that make this happen. And, um, you know, they've been with us, you know, from the beginning, they come and they go, but boy, they're 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 loyal. They're they're loyal. You know, you've been at Sugarloaf for, for how long? A long time. The first time I ever stepped uh, stepped on the grounds was May of '92. Yeah. So my first season of skiing was '92. Yeah. So it's what, thirty. You've seen a lot of changes years. here, and yes. uh, now with the West Mountain, I understand that you have done uh, some stories on Sugarloaf. You got another one coming up? Well, we talked, um, I've done many stories over the right. years here at Sugarloaf, a lot of fun stories. I, I have pulled one out of the archives that we did in 97 right. when they were first building uh, the uh, Timberline Trail and, and moving the old Whipple Tree quad and putting it up there. It's, it's really fascinating. I was talking to Crusher yesterday about uh, setting up a story to come up later on to talk more about what's going on on West Mountain. But it really is fascinating to, to hear what goes into making a trail. Mm. So many people think that perhaps, you know, they just go up there with a couple machines and some axes and just say, this looks like a good line. Let's uh, chop down some trees. But the environmental and ecological uh, considerations that are made, mm. um, the art... Uh, and that's the story we're going to come up and do in a couple of weeks. Um, once, because uh, they're 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 mulching everything, mm -hmm. uh, and that mulch stays in the ground. Um, there really is a lot to learn yeah. about the we'll the, the, the making of a trail. But I think I need to talk to Ethan, and we'll set something up for probably early in the spring. Right. You know, once. Uh, to talk about that. So. Well, again, thank you for your hard work and dedication. 23 years, that's, that's great. You, you never missed one. I have not. No, no. no. And, and, and you're a great asset. And uh, it was nice thank to have you. Kip up there as well. And Kip and, and, and Brian Corcoran. And Brian, from... boy, has he got some energy, huh? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> it's so, so nice to, uh, to have him on the program. And, and uh, he is so enthusiastic and all in with the bidding as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. What was the other one? A Bangor, there was a concert package, too. There was a concert package. Uh, it, we sold two of them yeah. uh, for the waterfront um, pavilion up there. Yeah. Uh, some great, great, great things. If uh, anybody wants to look at it uh, for next year, it's always the same time, that third Saturday. Or maybe you have yeah. something, or, uh, you know... Uh, some people donate vacation homes and rentals and things of that sort. You may have something that you want to uh, 
yes. help generate some uh, money for a great Absolutely. cause. Absolutely, a we, cause is. It's, yeah, I mean we have the we have the climb for a cause that happens in uh, December. We had the cut for the cause yesterday. Cause yesterday, you pay some, uh, you make a donation, right. and you skip all those long, long lines. Uh, there are just a, a number of ways to get involved. Yeah. yeah so. Well, we'll look forward to next year. And uh, again, thank you, Steve. Very and thanks good. for being and, here and this of morning. Of course, if I can, a shameless plug, if you're not doing anything at 1030 this morning, you right. can tune it on Channel 8 for Total Main. Total That's Main. That's my show. So, uh, Absolutely. There we go. And uh, it, it's so nice to have you here live and at 830 on Channel 8. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much, Steve. We All appreciate righty. it. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.